have a review on the ColourPop Shadows and Lippy Sticks. I ordered seven um, from them and these are five dollars a pop and I think that they are cruelty free if I'm not mistaken. They are very long wearing creamy eyeshadows. I did pay this with my own money. They're five dollars each but I found a coupon code for five dollars off and then also after thirty dollars you get free shipping. So I went ahead and did that so because I hate paying shipping. I just feel like I'm wasting money. I know it's for the, the, whatever but anyways. <laughs> Uh, so I went ahead and ordered, so I finally, I eventually, I paid 30 something, I think, like 30 with change, 31 or 32 with the uh, taxes, and I also, I practically just got one item for free with the $5 off, so, and the free shipping, so I ordered five shadows and two of the lippy sticks. I'm going to start with the shadows themselves. They come in a little box like this, which I'm sure you guys have already seen, the little pop that um so you unscrew the little pot and then on the bottom it has the name and the shade you can see right through right there so uh, I think that the packaging is really cute really comfortable and the shades are completely amazing I finally decided to go for it and order these when I saw and Andriana I'm gonna link her channel down below so you guys can go check her out her swatches on these were amazing they kind of just were like Damn, is that what they look like? Because a lot of people, I think that their swatches just kind of make them look like regular eyeshadows. And a lot of the shades just kind of looked, you know, just kind of dupable to me. They didn't seem like anything completely amazing. Um, once I saw her, sh her swatches and I started looking around for certain swatches, I feel like that's when I wanted to really order them. That being said, I feel like no picture, you know, it's... I haven't seen any picture to really show the justice of how beautiful these shadows really look in person. I feel like the swatches that you see don't even come close. And trust me, I went online and looked and looked and looked at pictures. I myself have tried taking various pictures to kind of show the detail of the glitter and the kind of dimension that these shades have and I feel like nothing really shows it. You know, a camera doesn't really, really show how awesome these look. So that being said, I will be doing swatches um, here all with you guys and kind of try to get that quality for you guys so you guys can see them. But I'm telling you, when you get these in person, you're just like, oh, it's so pretty. But that was like my whole take on these. So I really like the fact that the company is really detail oriented in the box itself. They do little, oh, and I'm throwing mine around, um, little handwritten notes um, with little quotes on them. I think that's super cute. They also included these little pamphlets where they describe each different finish of the lippy sticks and um, describe the product itself with the claims. And also with the eyeshadow, I really like the fact that they put tips and tricks. And also they they tell you for max coverage, the best way to apply this is with your fingertips or to tap the eyeshadow with a synthetic brush. So I think that that's a very, very important. And I feel like they kind of, you know, are helping you, telling you how to use this product, how to really make this product work for you and the way it's supposed to work um, which can be kind of misleading with other companies where you're just like and eh, you know like once you start using it and you try to use it with a brush you're just like what the hell it didn't look like that at all with my fingers so I really like the fact that they went ahead and took their time to put this in there so that way you already know that you how to use it how to blend it how to really um, make it last. They tell you to really keep the jars nice and shut because these aren't regular eyeshadows. I feel like nothing in my collection, including the L'Oreal Infallible ones, these I feel like feel a little bit more like eyeshadow and this really feels like a cream product. So I feel like the best way to apply this is with a synthetic brush like this one, which they do recommend in the card, or with your finger. And the ones that I've, are, I've already tested these out <laughs> And I absolutely love, love, love the way these look on your eyelid. Mm. So let me go ahead and get started and show you guys the shades I got. The first shade that I got is Bay, which I can't stand that word. And this is the shade. And as you can see, the camera, when I move it around, it has like this dual chrome to it that is absolutely 
stunning and beautiful and I feel like the colors when you see them online you're just like eh, it's okay it doesn't look like anything much but once you get it in front of you and the light starts hitting it and you start wearing it like this that's when you can see the awesomeness of these eyeshadows and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it and these eyeshadows I have to say are very long wearing and I like the fact that they they're kind of creamy but they don't feel like a cream eyeshadow either they're just kind of like that perfect texture so that is the shade bay and hopefully those glitters will pick up I also like the fact that these shades even though they have these glitter in them the shade doesn't have any fallout when you put these on your lid I put the primer first and then I apply this with my finger I don't get any fallout from the glitter itself the glitter just attaches to the eyelid and looks just stunning so absolutely love this I also like the fact that it doesn't a lot of cream products kind of cake up on the eyelid and I feel like I didn't get that with these as well so the next one is so quiche and this shade is absolutely gorgeous another kind of duo chrome as you can see there and it has glitter in it as well and they do have a little pattern that you you probably already saw on bay and this is the shade so as you can see super pigmented hopefully the lighting will pick up all those glitters and you guys can see how beautiful these shades really are so I'm hoping that this does turn out as beautiful as I want it to look on camera the way it looks in person so that is so quiche another shade that I picked up is I love this another beautiful 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 shade this one I've just kind of used in the inner corner so I haven't really touched um, the the uh, the kind of imprint that it has on it and let me go ahead and swatch that for you guys so you guys can see the awesomeness of it and that is I love this this shade is just absolutely beautiful love love like I said the way the glitter goes on the way it looks so metallic -y. I feel like <laughs> like I am so impressed by these it's not even funny and I really like these metallic kind of shades this one is called sequin and it's more of a copper kind of shade absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna swatch that right there look at how gorgeous that is these shades are just absolutely stunning and I'm not really sure if it's picking up the glitter hopefully it is picking up the glitter so you guys can definitely see that and the last shade that I got was one of the ones that was that kind of sparked my curiosity this one's called meow it's the one that's kind of a tie-dye in the in the pan I've already used it so you can't really see the tie-dye I did post a picture on Instagram and this shade is another beautiful shade it's a grayish shade but it has and hopefully this will pick up I don't know if you guys can see that against the light and hopefully you guys will see all the glitter yumminess that these have so absolutely absolutely love the way these look they're so so beautiful on I mean hopefully you guys can see all of this but this is so beautiful I can't even tell you when you get them in person and you put these on your eyes they are absolutely gorgeous I don't really think that I'll pick up any of the matte shades just because they don't really call to me the reason that these shades really call out to me is because of the glitter and how shimmery and beautiful and duochrome they are so just you know if they're not duochrome like um, quiche and bay I feel like they're metallic-y and they have all these little beautiful glitters in them and those shades are the ones that really called out to me because I have nothing like them in my collection and the way they look is just absolutely stunning so I can't even tell you guys how beautiful they are these are definitely the shades that called out to mo the most to me when I saw people swatching and, and looking them and seeing them online they're just absolutely beautiful and I hope the camera really really picks these up because they are so freaking stunning okay so as far as the lippy sticks I picked up two of the matte ones I picked up Lumiere and Brink 
They're more of the nude shades. Um, they just kind of twist up like that. And this is the shade Brink. And this is the shade, and this is more of a kind of peachy neutral. And then here is Lumiere, which is more of a rosy undertone. So those are the two shades right there. This is Lumiere and Brink. And I really like these. I feel like they're okay. They're really nicely pigmented. They don't really last long on the lips. They're just kind of like a regular lipstick. But for $5, I feel like they're nice. They have kind of like this cake smell to them that I really, really like. And I feel like they're nice quality. But, I mean, it's not anything that kind of just blew my socks off. They're just really, really nice. And I feel like for the price point, they're really good as well. Because they're only $5, which is is like a drugstore price. So, and even cheaper than some of the drugstore lipsticks. So, I feel like these are really nice qualities, to, really nice quality lippies to have. I don't feel like it's anything mind-blowing. I really like the matte ones that I got. I probably will look into getting some of the other um, different ones. They have um, here, they mentioned the Glossy, Satin, Pearlized, and Hypergloss ones. So I might try some of those later on. But I think that for me, the best thing that they have are these eyeshadows. I mean, the, the how beautiful these are is just mind-blowing. So I'm sorry that I repeated <laughs> beautiful like a million times and all of that um hopefully i will edit some of this out because i feel like i'm just like all about these eyeshadows absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful they just knocked my socks off so yeah thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions whatsoever about them let me know and um they are long wearing the eyeshadows once you put them on top of your primer they're gonna last all day so no issues there and yeah thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing and until next time bye guys